Hi, I'm Enoch Sears, and in this video, I'm going to give you one tip for your next architecture proposal. This is the business of architecture. So here's how you can make your architecture proposal stand out from the rest. Now, this is a strategy that people that understand marketing and very highly paid proposal writers, writers will use, but unfortunately, a lot of architects aren't really using this strategy. And to be able to use it, you need to understand the difference between features and benefits. Right? So let's use a car as an example. If you go into a car dealership and you're shopping for a new car, the car salesman will approach you and he's going to tell you all about all the wonderful features of the car. Look, if you press this little button right here, the windows will automatically roll down. If you press this button right here, it will automatically parallel park. Right? It has a climate control, it has heated seats, air conditioned from underneath. Right? Those are all features. It's what the car does, the things that the cars have. So what are some features that we offer as architects? Well, we do design documents. We draw details, we design curtain walls and we figure out how they attach to the buildings. We make sure that the building gets permitted in a timely fashion, the drawings get permitted and that it gets submitted. We provide code compliance. Okay? So those are all features. Now, features are good, but that is not what is going to attract your clients and make them want to use you as the architect. You need to dig a little bit deeper and that's where benefits come into it. Right? So what's a benefit? If we go back to the car, what's the benefit of parallel parking? The benefit of that is that it's going to save you time. You're going to be able to maybe park in spaces that you wouldn't have been able to park in otherwise, right? Imagine creating a commercial, you're selling this car that can do this automatic parallel parking like I've seen some of them do. I know the Teslas do that, right? So imagine someone's late for, you know, they're late for a meeting and there's two people, they're racing to get to the meeting in time. One person's driving a car that doesn't have this feature, the other person's driving a car that does. The one person that doesn't is looking for a parking space. There's a tiny parking space there after trying three or four times to fit in that space, I know you've probably tried this, I have, you know, they leave and they go away and they figure, oh man, I'm going to have to park two blocks away, I'm going to have to go into the parking garage because I can't fit in that space. They're going to be late to the meeting. The guy with the Tesla drives up, right alongside the car in front, presses a little button and that Tesla just slides right into that space. Okay? He walks into the meeting, he closes the deal, he gets the job, whatever, right? So that's the benefit. The benefit is closing the deal, getting the job, earning more money, having more freedom, having a good life. Okay? So when I go to the car dealership, if he's telling me about the, you know, this feature, about the, the windows automatically rolling down, sure that's nice, but how does that affect me? Right? The benefit would be, look, if you just, you can keep your eyes on the road, it's safer because you might not get into an accident. Right? So we have these little automatic windows that roll down so that you can focus on the road and you can focus on what's important and not endanger yourself and other people in the car. Okay? So let's go back to our architecture proposal example, right? One key is that whenever you talk about a feature, something that you provide, right? One of your phases, we do design development, we do schematic design. Here's what we do. We do this quality control process. Add the words so that to your proposal and fill in the end. The so that will help you come up with a benefit statement, right? So you can say, we do quality. We have this seven point quality control system that we take all of our drawings through so that we reduce the number of change orders, we reduce litigation, and we make our clients happier. Okay? So that's how you turn something that's a feature that's kind of bland and every architect's talking about that and is something that's a lot more powerful and speaks to something that your client wants. A really good tip for coming up with very powerful benefits is think about what is it that your client ultimately wants out of the project they're building? What's the end result that they want? Because that, that is the benefit. If it's a retail space, what they're going to want is they're going to want to sell clothes or whatever it is they sell. If it's a restaurant, they're going to want to book that restaurant. They're going to want to land wonderful people, you know, bands to come in there and play to really drive a lot of revenue and get seen in the local market, okay? And so that, that would be the benefit. So here's your one proposal tip. Make sure that as you write your proposal, go through there and make sure that it's benefit focused using the so that formula. If you enjoyed this architect business tip, Go to architectbusinesstips.com, sign up for my email list, and I will send you more information about how you as an architect can have success by earning a greater income and getting more freedom, which after all is the benefit. Now get out there and conquer the world.